my name is Erica, and this is my uh, update for days two and three of Readorama. Um, so didn't get much reading done at all on day two. I think I maybe read about twenty five pages or so. Um, I worked most of the day, and then I kind of got home and just did everything but read. Um, and day three, which was yesterday, which I actually had the day off, I'm not sure why I didn't read more. Um, I know I slept a lot, and I know I watched some TV, so I guess that's what happened. I'm not really sure, but, um, so day two and three, I was reading and, and continuing to read. I'm like halfway through now. Yeah. Um, Layla, the Black Tulip by Liv Little Croutier, I think. Um, it's part of the Girls of Many Lands series for American Girl, um, and this one uh, takes place in Turkey. Um, the cover's gorgeous. Isn't she cute? She's so pretty. Um, and actually there's a bookmark that comes with it that is her, like, full heart. It's kind of cool. So the book is about um, a girl who's, I don't know how old she is though when I'm thinking of it. I don't know. She's very young. A young girl who, <clears throat> her father was a painter. And her mother is a mother. Um, uh, she's, it's just, they live in Turkey. Um, and this is in the past in Turkey. Um, and there's a situation occurring in which her dad essentially just disappears. Um, he leaves. There's no real explanation as to why he's left, but he's no longer in the picture. And because he's no longer there, the family doesn't have any money. They're becoming very poor. So she has this um, green thumb. She's really good with flowers. The reason why they call her the black tulip is because she and her friend um, figure out how to like make hybrid tulips um, by mixing seeds. And they come up with this really pretty black one, and people love it, and they sell it. So she sells flowers to try to make some money. Um, and she does like some odd things around houses and stuff to try to help make money for the family. Her and her, she has a brother and then she has twin brothers. So she's just basically trying to help her family out. And, um, some men come to her house and they offer her mother a lot of money for her, um, to take her to Istanbul. And her mother says absolutely not and that, you know, in no way, shape or form will they take her daughter and just refuses. And then, uh, Leilana, who's our main character here, her character, Leilana, um, on her own, of her own, um, will, her own, I want to say volition, but that's not the right word. Anyway, on her own, she decides that she's going to go sell herself to these men because they're going to offer a lot of money. She's going to see how much she's worth, essentially. So she goes, and she feels really uncomfortable about it, but she goes and she, they give her, um, these three gold coins that are worth all the money. And she brings it back to her mother and she tells her and her brother that she's fine and she'll see them some other time. And she leaves to go to Istanbul. And then she finds out that, um, because they had said that they were going to take them to be princesses, essentially, is what, what it was. Um, on the way there, she finds out that um, they're going into slavery, essentially, and she doesn't like that idea at all. Um, Leilana whose name eventually changes to Layla in the book, um, because when she is in Istanbul, things change. Um, but anyway, so the, uh, the character, though, she's very empowered. She's very um, strong-willed. Uh, she takes care of some of the younger kids on the way there. She's um, not, she's not really afraid to kind of just be like, I don't like this. <laughs> Um, although she does get to a point where she realizes that maybe it's a better idea to just go along with things rather than, um, really, like, letting it be known that she's unhappy with the situation occurring, um, and things like that, uh, just because it, it, it's less hurt for her, I guess. But she has this, like, whole struggle with she's not really sure what's happening to her, and she's not sure she likes what's happening, um... Uh, the point the point that I'm in the book right now, she's actually living in the the palace of the it's like the the best palace of the Ottoman Empire. I don't know. And she's going to be 
working with the mistress of flowers um, because she has such a good green thumb and she can um she can make tulips happen and they can't do that they can't get tulips to actually grow so and she knows how to do that so that's where I'm at right now and it um it's a good book it's not it's not bad by any means um it's kind of interesting I mean well it is it's not kind of interesting it is interesting because I know nothing about turkey um and it's interesting that she's such a young girl and that all this happening. Oh, hey, it's simple 1720. So this is from 1720. That's helpful. Um, so this is an American Girl book, so those are usually uh, they're fairly easy read. Um, anyway, and, and at times when I read them, I find them to be a little lacking. <laughs> it's awful, but it's true. I always really liked the American Girl books. Um, even, like, as I got older, um... But, I don't know. It's not the worst book in the world or anything. It's pretty good, and I'm going to finish it, because I like to know where Layla goes. Um, and I am, like, halfway through it. I'm almost exactly halfway through it. Um, so, I'm going to continue to read this. This will, this will um, complete the middle grade challenge uh, for Readerama. And, yeah, so that's that's where I'm at um, after days two and three. Um, it is day four now. Um, I will post a wrap up for day four probably tomorrow. Um, I think. But yeah, so happy July, everybody. And, uh, you know, why not? It's the first July. Happy July. And, um, happy reading, of course. And if you're participating in Read Drama, you know what? I would love to know how many books you've read so far. So this is what makes my. When I finish this one, it'll make my second book. Um, I had a goal of seven, so I have a lot of catching up to do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make that goal at all now, but I might. I don't know. I might surprise myself. Sometimes I fly through books with no problem. I just haven't really been sitting down and reading. Um, and this is a really awkward position to be in, but my neck hurts, so it feels good. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to reading for a little while at least. And uh, I will talk to you later. Happy reading! I already said that. <laughs> like the video if you like it. Leave a comment below if you're interested in Readorama. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a lovely day.